Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a 1963 Ford Galaxy. Black on red, 90% original paint. This car has never been molested. When you open up all the door jams, it's in excellent shape. The best part is, it's powered by a 427 FE with dual uh, green tag carburetors. So that's the correct carburetor for a 427. I'm gonna go ahead and let you look at the side of it. Obviously, it's extremely clean. It's hard to find a black Galaxy like this. You're essentially buying a drag car. I can't wait to put this in the air so you can see it, and I can't wait to go for a test drive. It's got a bench seat. This originally was a 352 car, and then what they opted to do was turn it into what you see here today. You got yourself your Hearst four-speed. Look at all the trim. I mean, it's unbelievable. And I'll let you look at the inside, too. The headliner is really nice. Um, look at the gaskets. So these are the original gaskets just like perfect I'm gonna go ahead and open up the front hood you got your emblem for 427 up here you can see so I'm sure people are gonna say something in the pictures that the hood is raised well they used to do this so that you could vent out the heat from the motor so it actually vents the heat out as it's going through and it doesn't build up inside the engine bay we can adjust that but I think that this is period correct this was built by a longtime 427 guy, uh, former drag history. This FE motor is the real deal, uh, dual, dual carbs, and they're the correct carburetors. So let me take this off real quick. All right. So it's signed by Dick Brennan and then uh, Daddy Warbucks. So these are both big time racers for, uh, for 427 classes from the 60s. Uh, these guys were doing wheelies before you were even born. Take a look at the carburetors. You see these tags right here? That's what I was talking about, the green tags. These are the correct carburetors for an FE motor. Go ahead and Google how much that costs and then think about what we're asking for this car and you can go from there. This is essentially a real deal drag car uh, from the time. So it, it has a single master cylinder <laughs> with one line for braking you have manual steering and I can smell the race gas from here so we run these cars with uh, with 110 octane just to keep everything running correctly um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep on walking around it and then we'll go ahead and start it up and go from there take a look at the passenger side while I put this back on just as clean as the other uh, as a driver's side there are some imperfections that have been touched up. I did see that they did some paint work here, and that's why I say 90%. But this is an old repair, and it's not from a, it, it looks like it was from a dent that they just tried to fish out. When you take a look at this side, take a look at the door jams again. All the original rubber, nothing's been molested. I mean, this is hard to find. Take a look at the interior. Back seat, all original too. Let me grab the key and I will pop the trunk for you. We'll see how many bodies we can fit in it today. <laughs> Thank you. Take a look at this. You can fit a ton of bodies in there. Uh, you've got yourself a oil filter along with uh, some of the miscellaneous service records from when it was last serviced. Um, gaskets. All original, no rust on this car. So when we put it in the air, you're gonna really enjoy it. It's set up exactly how it would have been set up in 63 or 65 to be a race car. We purchased this car specifically from a Galaxy collector. And he, he was, he, when, we, when we bought it, he's like, I pay, you're buying this five cents on the dollar, John. And I felt bad, but we were very fortunate. This thing is wicked. You ready? So we'll run it with the microphone and I'll walk around it and then we can run it with the phone as, or the uh, camera as well. Unbelievable. I don't know if you can hear how... bending over like on the camera.
go ahead and start this beast up. So it's cold nature, we'll let it warm up for a second. We'll take it down our drag strip Ravenswood and uh, then we'll let her rip. This thing has 23,000 original miles on the body and then they put the motor in. So it's like brand new. Has uh, links in the rear, so it has track bars in the rear. Diff obviously has posi traction in the exhaust. It's dual three and a half inch exhaust pipes that dump right near the axle. There's your oil pressure gauge. Look at that, look at how nice everything is in here. What's cool is look at this tack. So they set this tack up to have your launching moment and then your shift moment. I don't think we're gonna launch it, but I would like to go through the gears. Feel the rear end, oh my god, awesome. Shift's really smooth. You can feel that there's a ton of power there. These FV motors rev up to 60, I think it's 6,200 RPMs. These motors produce, let me close this so you can get some better sound, uh, 470 horsepower out of the box. This motor has all four components. Right now we're in third gear. We got the tri-rail trying us. <laughs> Everything shifts nice. The suspension feels really good. We're going over some bumps here to be able to feel it. No funny sounds, nice and firm. I can't wait to open up those uh, dual four barrels. Brakes feel good. We're gonna go ahead and turn down this road and then we'll, uh, we'll give her a little rip. So we're gonna try it out. We're gonna do it. We're just gonna roll the throttle. You ready? God, it's like stop me. Use your brakes. This thing is ridiculous. Yeah, that's a. Once those carbs opened up, holy crap! This thing's ridiculous. This is real power. And I shifted early. I shifted at. I don't want to, you know, rev this thing out. We're shifting at 5,500 RPMs. That's unbelievable. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try this again. Um, we're gonna do a roll. So we're in first, you ready?